What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel Celeron NG840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Patreon family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 700 in H2 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, we're using the latest Javax suite available. You also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and 1TB external one on which the game is installed. As for operating system we are using Windows Excite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we will be benchmarking today is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Shout out to the guy who requested it, we are going to be running the game in DirectX 11 mode because interestingly enough the game actually runs better in DX11 instead of DX9. Another thing that does noticeably improve the performance is running Future Soldier in windowed mode. You can't set it to run in windowed mode from the settings but you can do so from the config file which is located in documents, Ubisoft, Ghost Recon Future Soldier folder. Open the default.cfg file with notepad. And in it just change the full screen value from true to false. One thing to note is that you will have to restart the game every time you want to change the resolution but eh whatever. Let's get straight to the point now. And since I'd rather make it so that it looks like full screen at 800 by 600 because remember we are running the game in windowed mode for better performance, I'm gonna lower my desktop resolution to 800 by 600. You can do it by right clicking on your desktop, then going to display settings and from there 
you should be able to lower it and therefore maximize the game window at the lower resolution.